So the Raspberry Pi Foundation has released another Pi only seven months after the Raspberry Pi 2. It's the Raspberry Pi Zero. So I guess the first thing I should say is don't be annoyed if you've just bought a Raspberry Pi 2. This is not a replacement. If you're a parent wanting to get your six-year-old into coding, the Raspberry Pi 2 is still the one to buy for Christmas. With all that said, the Zero is a nice bit of kit. It still supports the HAT add-on format, it has a mini HDMI out, it's powered by a regular phone charger, and you get it all for £4. In terms of performance, it's pretty similar to the original Raspberry Pi A. It also has no onboard Ethernet like the original Raspberry Pi A, and it only has one USB port, albeit this time the USB port is a micro B as you'd see on a phone or tablet. So you're going to need an adapter to use this USB port. Not only that, if you want to use a keyboard and mouse at the same time, you're going to need a hub as well. On top of that, the Raspberry Pi Zero doesn't actually come with this 40 pin header. You have to buy that separately and solder it on. Let's be honest, you get what you pay for and you aren't paying very much for this. So actually you're getting more than you pay for. I think this is gonna lend itself well to wearables projects and also applications where you don't need the quad core power of the Raspberry Pi 2. Things like this little robot doesn't require the quad core power of the Raspberry Pi 2. So the Raspberry Pi Zero is gonna be perfect for things like that. I think the applications and the uses that we see for the Raspberry Pi Zero are gonna very much depend on the accessories and mounts and cables and all the extra things that you can get for it. There's a part two to this video where I go through all the accessories that you can already get for the Raspberry Pi Zero.